Okay, so we're back with this thing. Almost there. Boy, I, <laughs> I sound so fucking excited. Because I already did this once. Well, just the intro. Um, you know that kind of thing where it's like, you're not putting something off per se, but things crop up as to why you can't do something as early as you like. And then it collectively snowballs. So you start recording the final part of an LP at 5.24 at night. Because that's what happened. I, I already did that first part, but well, shit got delayed inadvertently. I'm probably going to have to make a cut right before a certain someone. Oh, would you look at that? Whoa, that was weird. I don't think that's meant to do that. <laughs> Not at all. Fucking Kagero, go away. Oi. Now, I'm hoping, in retrospect, the combat it will be, uh, commentary is a little more river- uh, river great. Off to a fantastic start. Riveting than the Bloody Palace episode, <laughs> as I'm dubbing it myself. Um, I mean, like, when I listen to it back, I'll be like, oh, it's fine, I'm sure. I'm being too hard on myself, but... I can imagine that probably got a little samey. Especially with the part where I had to lay out the Dark Nuts for like five minutes while waffling about... Well, nothing really. <laughs> Just kind of going on because I had to talk while I lamed him out. But anyway, um, Hyrule Castle. Yeah. Woo. Um, I don't know. I know why this has so low energy. <laughs> I like that. I like that just there. Oh, my buddies are dead. These people are dead, Burke. Well, that, yeah, that had no passion or energy. Super spin, though. Super spin attack. It's pretty dope. Pretty hype. It's so groovy, it's out of sight. That was meant to be a Faith No More reference. Get it? Because I like music. Oh. Oh. Anyway. I don't remember his dungeon as well as I would like to. I have got the guidebook right in front of me. I've only had to use it, what, twice. So I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. But as you can see, this is a lot of combat encounters using the not Zant force field. Oh shit, it's already this? Rival battle, here we go, virtual free. Let's go, let's go. King Bolbin, the true hero. We get the hype music. Oh. Okay, let's try this instead. He's learned to block. Back slice though. Got to be careful because he's going to start going for some stuff in a second. Oh, well, now's the chance to wail on him. So, as a reminder, I have three fairies and a great fairies tier. So, there is little consequence to any of this, to be completely honest. I can get smacked around by Baldwin, and it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, releasing all the tension in the scene. There, getting my uh, red letter media quota out of the way nice and early. So what you gotta do there is mash the A button, oh, until he does that, and takes about half my life. What do the kids say, in the man's career? I remember that joke when it was fresh. <laughs> I never used it till well after, but oh, I never really remember that expression. That smile. I remember all this, I never really remember the smile though. Ah, Boblin was a noble opponent after all. As you will find out, because I'm saying that a little, uh, preemptively. Hmm, what could that imply? What's the hidden lore about that? 
How King Boblin relates to the painted world of Ariamis. Well, you see, like the pursuer, <laughs> King Boblin is a servant of the goddess Velka, goddess of sin. As is the red 20 rupee rupee. That was a well thought out, shut up. And, well, back to nothing. Yeah, he is such an idiot. And now back to the wall. But honestly, I don't... I didn't remember fighting him that soon. Did they change something? Or am I... I'm sure I just... I'm just misremembering. Like, how to get to this. I think he climbed over the wall layer or something. This is weird. I can't remember this. Yeah, no, there's, gonna, there's nothing. Or I'm dumb. A little from column A, a little from column B. Oh, good. Good. We can actually do this in wolf form. That's my one grape... Uh, one grape? One gripe of entering the sacred grove. The whole gotta be in human form. So we can go in there, but yeah. Now I learned a while back that people said, or implied, that you can fuck up going to the treasure room. I honestly don't know how, so maybe we'll figure that out together as a team. Am I right, Epic Gamers? Ha <laughs> ha! I hate even making that joke. I don't know why I do it to myself. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I could probably use more subs, but who gives a fuck? 32 is fine. That's what that's what I'm at right now. 32 very patient and understanding people. Those Boblins look like they were floating for a second. They're clearly not. But, yeah. That was weird. That's how little I have to talk about, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on, buddy. One sec. Your boss over there is trying to stop me. And the cat has jumped down. Great. Hey there, girl. You're the reason I couldn't record it earlier. Well, part of it. Part of it was maybe I played DS2 for a little too long. Started yet another character. Yay. I like my Dark Souls, alright? I think this is well understood. By now, it, it, you know, it should be. One day, I'll just fucking play Dark Souls. As an LP, in an LP format. And there, I can get my fix. Even though, inadvertently, I will start a character and go, yeah. And, you know, that'll be the LP character. And I'll immediately start playing another character in my spare time. Thus defeating the whole purpose of an LP. I guess. To a degree. But, yeah. I mean, if I ever do, I guess it's got to be DS1 first. Because I think I... I'm pretty sure I went on about this in either Twilight Realm episode or the last part. Oh my god, Boar! Who could have done this to Hannibal? Poor Boar. Um, yeah, no, I guess it's got to be DS1 because, well, two is long? really fucking long. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. And three, as much as I do like, I find, like, whenever I start a new character, I'll get up until about Profane Capital. I'll probably beat Dancer. I'll do a bit of Lothric Castle, and then I'll kind of just go, I'm good. I'm good. Which is really shitty, I know. But, I know it's weird. It's a weird feeling. I mean, I'm sure most people can sympathize in regards to, like, one of their, or some of their favorite games, where it's like, I love this, and then you get to a point. Ironically, that's a lot of people with Dark Souls 1 post on Sting and Smoke, but fuck those people. I mean, are they right in some regards? Yeah. Um, on the other hand, I mean, all, all the games have that problem. There's parts you don't like. So, you know. Just DS2's end game is pretty loaded up in terms of the good stuff, I guess. Borchan. Yamaro. Or whatever the kids say these days. Where is my. There we go. My Gale Boomerang. Mm hmm. What's this? 
Aha, a Triforce, and there's a Z. Metroid Prime 4 confirmed. I mean, that'd be nice. Let's just double check I'm going to do this right before I look dumb. Uh huh. So it's you to you. Wait, no. This is simple. But I'll find a way to fuck it up, don't you worry. I'm pretty sure it goes something like. Well, wait, if this. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm fucking. I'm overthinking this a little, a little bit too much. Alright. This is the bottom of Triforce. Hey, boar. Boar ass, I guess. Um, let's walk over a little bit. There we go. So it should just be. Eh. 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 Yeah. I just I just didn't want to fuck that up. Even though ironically that would have taken less time if I had just done it and fucked it up. A ladder. What sorcery is this? Oh great, it appears the cat wants to leave. I mean that's helpful, but I gotta get up now. Great. Get up to get up to get down. Oh, fuck. I'm a fraud, I've I've never played Jet Set Radio. I probably should one day. Sega could make that, or Sega rather, could make that a lot easier by, um, I don't know, making a new one. Uh, they're pretty good. Soundtrack's pretty good at least. That's some good shit, that soundtrack. Well, those soundtracks. Implying plural, as in more than one. A chest. What sorcery is this? What be in this chest? I'm filling for time until we up. Oh. Yeah, that's about right. Stamps, am I right, kids? Wait, was there a door right there? Am I dumb? No, there was not a door right there. No, no, good. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's later. I know the exact part that is on the mini map, which you guys are not privy to because. The Wii U gamepad. If you haven't got used to it by now, I don't know what to tell you. It's part 16. Unless I chop these up a little differently. Dif differently to how I anticipate. Excuse me one second. Please don't kill me, game. Yes, game. You may begin your pilgrimage. Let me ask so. May you find your worth in the waking world. Or whatever. I don't know. Soul of the Lost, key to life, e life Tifa. Soul of the Lost, withdrawn from this bullshit. I should just fucking play Demon Souls. Yeah, that's what I should do. <laughs> My strength been granted so that I can finish this LP. That I have enjoyed. I hope it doesn't come across that like I've lost any drive or passion. Because like, I en I'm enjoying this game anyway. It did, I mean, it got a little monotonous, but that's because of the recording, my recording schedule of, I've got free time because pandemic's still technically going on, and I can't work. Well, I could, but there's no work. Oh, Jesus. The whole gang's here. Spread out and find clues. Just not here. Okay, wow. All right. Yep. Those jaguar noises. Jaguar. Ching. No. You do not deserve it. Alright, fuck this. Fuck you. I think there's some out of bounds exploits you can try using the finishing attack. Call it a hunch or call it memory. I don't know which. It's a little from column A, a little from column B. I'm using that joke again. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Yeah, I, I remember there being some kind of exploit. I never did it myself, but I recall. Way back in the day of 2006, 7, 8, etc. Those days. Ah. Huh. Torches. I wonder. Ooh, how exciting. A chest. My god. 
What's that quote? What I'm trying I I wanted I don't want to fuck this up because Red Dwarf quote. What does Crichton say? Spin my nipple nuts and send me to Alaska. That's right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't remember. I don't remember what the context of that quote is, but I I don't think it matters too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. What am I looking for? Yes, I thought so. It's like I'm sinking into the ground. That's weird though. I'm. I mean, I'm clearly not. What a waiter. What have we here, nomad soul? Ooh, compass is mega honor for photo. Will I subject myself to the cage on this channel? Yeah, probably one day. Probably. I don't know if anyone's actually going to enjoy that, though. I mean, I don't think that stopped me so far. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Hmm. How curious. Okay, so these torches don't go out. Got it. Good to know. Alright, so there's something there later on. Or right now. Not now. Huh. Need to solve a puzzle of some sorts. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. I guess that supposed to be Dr. Kleiner from Half-Life, but... Hey, buddy! Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't really get time to say it in uh, Cave of Ordeals, even though I had literally all the time in the world. But, now I think of it, because I was thinking of it there, a fraction. These designs kind of remind me of the Iron Knuckles this version of the Dark Knights, I, it's, I wonder if that's what they're meant to be evoking, because that's kind of what I'm getting. It must be the shape of the helmets. The curved swords probably help too. There's a Skyrim joke in there somewhere, but I haven't played Skyrim much. An hour and a half. And it was probably really boring for my friends to watch. I ran away from someone I aggroed, I don't know. I didn't get launched into the stratosphere. Or the atmosphere. That was well after that. But it was the original Xbox 360 version, so I might have if I tried hard enough. Oh, that does work. Okay. I should I should have done that. I say, knowing it wouldn't have worked against two or three Dark Knights bunched up. So, I was just fighting the Ruin Sentinels, which I actually mentioned last episode. Um, before fighting them again. But, they're actually, they're, they're pretty good practice for dealing with the Dark Knights. I mean... When you got a great club plus eight that you rush to, to the gutter to get and then farm some chunks, like, Rune Sentinels aren't very hard. Because you just fucking destroy them. But at the same time, definitely help my little uh, problem solving skills, I guess you could call them. I'm doing this for some reason, I don't know why. Oh shit, Giovanni! I have to go see Giovanni! Um, I'll be doing that, like, right at the end, I think. Fuck. I meant to do that beforehand, if anything. Yeah, okay, I'm seeing. I'm seeing this. Mm-hmm. I see your game. Hmm. Interesting. Um... I get the impression we're gonna need the Gale Boomerang. And where is... There's the bullet chunk. That's the wrong button. Anything? Ah, oh, here we go. Royal rat, baby. There is some stuff in these statues, I know for certain, but I don't remember which or what's hidden. So now I know there's gonna be rats, Resident Evil 4 style, except, well, you know, rats instead of snakes. I'm gonna be doing this. Throw up my guard. There's going to be a bubble somewhere. Is it bubbles or bubble, though? Like, singular. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Thank you, Cat. I know. Um, thank you for your input. This is riveting commentary. Please go. Don't do this. Not now.
damn it. I forgot the cookies. You forgot the cookies? Let's just say something, even though I know what the case is. Yes. I mean, I can jump that. Hypothetically. I will relight it just in case, though. In case I am the dumb. It sounds like something stuff I would say. Yes, cat. You may progress. Bear the symbol of the king. Then go to Eldia's keep or whatever. Uh, wait, no, no. Don't go to Eldia's keep. Fuck no. I was just there the other day. That's a messed up shit. I was re-watching Grandma Swamp play through Eldia's Keep actually, just before this. And how he died to that dragon. That doesn't do that in Scholar. Scholar of the First Sin. Well, does it in a different context. What it is, is... Well, it tries... It, it kills you pretty well. There's a giant skeleton of a dragon in Dark Souls 2 in the late game area. And it comes alive. And just casually murders you. If you don't move. Um, I had the foresight to move when that first happened to me. Even, like, having forgotten the LP that I'm referring to. It's probably not worth destroying them, but, you know, the one I don't is going to have something cool. You know, I'm probably not going to need the bow, if anything. I say, when I remember, that's a thing. Ah. wonder what this is. Some kind of mystery. I already made the Scooby-Doo joke, so I don't know if I can do it again. I mean, repeating jokes has never stopped me before, but maybe it will this time. I, I don't know. Okay, well, we're done with that and that tedium. Alright, let's have a look. Hmm, so if I'm facing this... Is it implying that, to that, to that, to that? That's what I'm guessing... But it could be the inverse. Very... Yep. Okay, it's the opposite. <laughs> they wouldn't have spawned. I think. What the hell is... What the fuck was that? Um, just in case. I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah, alright. So, they went out. Good. That solves that. Wait. What? How fast do you have to do this? Oh, wait. I'm dumber than anticipated. It should be that. Yeah? To that. Yep, it's facing the door. Wait, no, fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Wait, what? What the hell? Wait, why did they go out? What the fuck? Am I doing this wrong? The cat is not helping, that's for sure. I think I'm doing this wrong. I am doing this wrong. South, east. That's the wrong thing. Uh-huh. Now, if I do this... If I do this... That'll do it! And I look super smart, despite the fact I've added myself for using the guidebook. <laughs> So, it was based off um, how long they take. I just didn't want to have to backtrack to uh, use, you know, well, to get the oil. Unlike, um, J why am I going to say Jonathan? Unlike um, Joseph, Joestar, I don't need the oil because I'm not fighting a pillar man. Or, as they are otherwise known, the uh, gods of Aztec fitness. All those guys from Warhammer. They don't fucking know my Warhammer, so whatever. <laughs> Something about oiled, oiled abs quivering at um, the Emperor's voice, I think it was. That's all I know. If the Emperor had a text to a speech machine. That's, lit that's literally my knowledge of, for of Warhammer. And, and a few of Plague of Gripes videos, and that's pretty much it. He's got an upgrade video that just went up the other day. It'll be like a month old by the time you see this, if not older. But for me, it's new, damn it. And I will watch it. Eventually. 
Probably when I'm done here. And I need something to chill. Okay, what do you do? Oh! A shortcut! Wow, that's different in these Zelda games, am I right? That's also quite convenient. Is it not? Huh, well, you know what? I get the impression I'm gonna need a tr uh, my uh, lantern again rather soon, so. I will probably head down. Oh, wait, these were spawned? Huh, what single rupee? Robbing the castle blind. Um, yeah, when I go back, I'll get some more oil just in case. Now, is this the cutscene? Is this cutscene bridge or is it after? Oh, you. I'm going to put my claw shot on as quickly as I can. That was not quick. That was kind of slow. Alright, come down. You hear me, mister. Come down. Yeah, that'll teach it. I'll tell it off. Come here. Really? There we go. Nice. Helm Splitter, off the bridge, if only. Is this the bridge with a dragon rush you and Dark Souls 1? Who knows? Me, it's not. Okay, Bomb Arrow prompts him to. Oh, oh, that was lucky. Yep, yep. There is definitely an old, old bug there somewhere. I can feel it. I'm not a bug tester, never have been, probably never will be. But I can fucking feel it. I can see it. Feel it. Yeah, that was meant to be Father Ariandel, I guess. I don't, I don't fucking know. Just quietly close that door while I admire this key. Nice. Alright. Releasing all the tension in this scene. So, um, because I don't need water bombs, to my knowledge, and boy, I hope I'm right, even though I'm positive you don't, I still have one bomb of six, one bag of 60 bombs, one bag of 55, and a bag of 20 bomblings. And yes, they are called bomblings, I looked it up. By walking into a shop and going, are they called bomblings, and the game going, yes, idiot, they are. <gasps> Boss key? <gasps> It's a trap! That was not meant to be a Star Wars reference, but was. Also, get ready to get fucked. <gasps> Sniper! Oh no, no, it's not the Sniper from TF2. It's Mordecai from Borderlands. I remember when Bloodwing died. It was me. Thanks, Handsome Jack, you fuck. I never played Borderlands 1, much like a lot of people, but I still felt bad. One of my friends played Borderlands 1 by himself. He didn't really enjoy it solo. <laughs> I think the experience of playing 2 as a group of 3 definitely improved things. I will never bother, I will never ever bother soloing Terramorphus. Fuck that. That does not sound fun. Borderlands 2 was quite fun for its time, but when I've tried to go back and play it, it's kind of like, hey, same problem as something like Dark Souls 3. I get to a point and go, yeah, that's enough. I'm good. So we have to go that way. Just saying, we have to, but, um... As you can see, I'm going the opposite way, using the Fred Durst technique of the rollin', rollin', rollin'. Um, his bloodline technique. It's the Durst clan showering gun, I guess. I'm, I must sound like a... Yeah, I really must sound like I actually know or care about Naruto from all this shit, but nah. I'm just making fun from what I remember from back in the day of... 
was it still? No, it wasn't Cheese TV anymore. It was Toasted TV by that point. That was the uh, morning show on one of the channels. On channel 10. Which is kind of a shit channel now, anyway. Probably was back then, too. I was just too young to notice. But yeah. Um, I know a lot about Naruto. I, all I know is we got that amazing intro. Ah, oh, beautiful. Masterful. I'm pretty Yeah, no, I referenced it already in this playthrough. I'm putting it in one of these episodes. If I have already, good on me. If I haven't, well, I was lazy. So I don't know what to tell you other than, well, I was lazy. I haven't got anything else to say. I'm not excusing myself. If I was lazy, I was lazy. That's my own dumb fault. Anyway, enough of the self-criticism for the meantime. I'm sure some will be warranted eventually. We are progressing forward. I'm putting my arm on the guidebook. As uncomfortable as this is. Now you're battle scout. You deserve a bit of life in this. Let me close you. And Sorry, if you could hear like the HB pencil and the 2B pencil. And the 2H pencil and the 5B pencil. And all, all those family friends just kind of move. Because that's what happened. And that weird marker I use instead of a pen. Because all my pens died. Except for the ones I use when I teach. And the fact that I'm sniping these guys instead of just fucking fighting them. Hey. You're next. No. Denied. Denied. Guess that was meant to be Earth Shaker. Yeah. I love how me just saying denied is counting as well, yeah, th 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 me saying denied is something I count as just a Dota reference in itself. In itself. Like that's it. That's all I have to do. And it's like, oh yeah, Dota. I I'm judging myself here. Better than the League of Legends, am I right? Despite what all those YouTube ads tell me. Have you heard of League of Legends? I don't know why I went for that accent. That felt borderline racist. <laughs> um, but all those shitty League of Legends ads that I'm sure the artist got paid for in exposure dollars. As opposed to, I don't know, real money. Oh, Christ. There's my exposure dollars. I can see with a fucking audio peak when I go to ambush by the shoes. Oh, it's happening again. My recurring nightmare. Yep, red and yellow make purple. That's how that works. Color theory, am I right, kids? Haha. <laughs> so I'm going to show you an ancient bloodline technique. As I pretend I don't like... No, wait. Why am I saying pretend I don't like Naruto? Why am I throwing myself under the bus? It's fucking hard. Um, yeah, here's my technique. Scumming out with the bottles. As you saw in the Chalice Dungeon, known as Bloody Palace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going with. Alright, what horde shows up next? Oh, that's it? Oh, that's right, it's just, you hit one and it's the correct one. I did this to myself. I'm okay with it. I admit it, I have a problem. Um... At least I'm not Mr. Gumble. At least this wasn't a Girl Scout meeting. Scouts was alright back in the day. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Scouts was cool. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in one playthrough. But the three pillars of, of our Scout group. Um, playing a game called Chess Soccer. And if you don't know about it, you're a damn Philistine, I guess. The peak... The peak of athleticism, chair soccer. Yes, I am being lame and fighting one at a time. I'm sure the other one will aggro. Yeah, chair soccer. You know, national sport in Australia. We compete at it all the time in the Olympics. I am definitely going to draw that Dark Knight of a fight too close. Come over here. The other two pillars was playing Mario Kart 64 before camps. I mean, I don't think anyone can complain. Sometimes Double Dash when we felt like we had to spice things up. That was... That was the days of Mario Kart Wii being quite new. 
but you know. Sometimes you want to play the classics. Like the underrated double dash for the best Mario Kart in the franchise. I don't know if I've said this before, but I'm adding myself as a Mario Kart double dash, uh, double, yeah, double dash fan. Double dash was good, fight me. Please don't fight me. Peace and love and all that good stuff. Peace, love and death metal. That's that album by Eagles of Death Metal. Do it. Do it, you coward. Man, why can't I have a mace that badass in Dark Souls? I mean, Mace of the Insulin is pretty fucking cool. I forget, in what capacity do they have spell ca casting in Breath of the Wild again? It's been so long since I've played it, I should remedy that by, I don't know, playing the game perhaps. But, nah. I could have replayed Dark Souls a million times still. So. We'll get there eventually. It will not be for the channel because of how fucking long it is. Um, actually, it'd be interesting to know is Breath of the Wild longer or shorter than, well, this or Wind Waker? Or even Skyward Sword? Skyward Sword's actually pretty long from memory. I just. I never checked which is the longest on how to beat. On how long to beat. Because I'm dumb. In the fact I messed up the sentence and the fact I never checked. Even though I literally meant to day one of doing this. Yeah, what you got? That said, I always thought, like, it would be nice having... And, hey, hey, I'm gonna talk about Zelda while talking about Dark Souls. It would be cool if you had a Souls-like game where enemies did what that Dark Knight did. And not the dying part, the throwing his weapon part. Because I think that'd be a nice way to sp spice up movesets. It's highly impractical. It's highly impractical, but as you saw, um, back when it, I got hit by it last episode, it fucking hurts. A lot. So I'd be down for that, because of, of how sick it is. And even then, take it a step further. I don't know if anyone who's watching has played Wind Waker, um, or knows enough about it, but a lot of enemies in that game could lose their weapons. And when they did, they had to resort to fisticuffs. And that was actually a pretty cool part of that game. I really, really enjoyed that. So, looking at the minimap, I don't need to go that way because I got the boss key, so we're good. We've got to go up, up, and up. As you can see, there's a treasure room right there on floor four. And a skull. But, you know, marks the domain of the skeleton warriors. Da 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 da. Skeleton ball. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Up we go. Um, I don't think this is going to work, is it? Yep. Sick. I don't know why I doubted the claw shot. Yeah, that's one of the big ones. I've only got one of those in the playthrough so far, I think. Huh. It's kind of annoying you can't get back there the way I... Well, the way I did. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wasting everyone's time, even more so than I figured. Yeah, well, too bad. Going back the long way, but isn't even that long. Because I can go literally either way and it'll work out fine. So you don't actually need to go down both corridors. Like if you, if you were running this for time and perhaps a speed run, you could skip one side. It's, you know, just a suggestion, but um... Yeah, you know, excuse me one second, I've just realised my horrendous, horrendous mistake. And also the fact of, fuck, I should just go see Giovanni now, so apologies, I'll make a cut. Um, but I imagine if you're speedrunning this, you're not doing this. I imagine there's some game-breaking bug someone found once. That's a fucking Anolondo door, that's for sure. M more castles should just have doors like that. Have the huge big door, but have like the little mini door inside it. I think that's a fairly reasonable thing to advocate. I mean, I think, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little, little too pushy, but anyway. 
Um, speaking of pushing. Um, that's it. See ya, Giovanni. Now to end the quest line. That's all I got. We've done it. You look like a Disney extra, I guess. It's coming up roses. Nice, nice. Hey, 200 rupees, yep. That's, um... I mean, I shouldn't be ungrateful. But, I didn't think I need 200 rupees. You're gonna keep clipping through it, I guess. Um, bye cat. Bye, Gengle. See you, space cowboy. Back at the castle. You guys are cute, though. I can... I can transform. Sick. Yeah, see you at the castle. What are you guys doing? I've never talked to you. What's all this about? What? Huh, okay. I don't remember that, but there you go. Foreshadowing for the thing we get told. I guess I meant to talk to them before the Water Temple. Yeah, well, was meant to. Ah yes, the majestic Kagarok flying into pillars like a complete dunce. What a hero. Yeah, so this is what I should have been doing. Wait. Wait. Scratch that. Scratch that. So this is what I should have been doing. Even though I was dumb and went to that one first. And by telling you this, in a manner of showing it to you, I am wasting even more time. So much so, I fucked up the, uh, the aim. My aim. So. Wasting even more time, great. Alright. Um. Almost to the final boss. Who is not Ganon, I swear. I mean, a quarter is Ganon. Just a quarter, that's all. Maybe I can get this done in time. Wait, what the hell? Okay. You know what? Sorry. Where's Hawkeye? Something about the most useful Avenger to some dumb joke. Yeah, I'm not meant to look at that. It's no Lost Eyes of Lift. So, there's that. Time to talk... <laughs> Fuck, I fucked that up. Time to talk about Dark Souls again. I think I've seen more, like, blank, white, texture, textureless voids in Dark Souls 3 than in either of the other two games. Which is odd. Because 3 should have the least, you'd assume. Also, mechanic. Look at these ghosts. Eddie the Head over here. The evil, evil that men do. Goes on and on, I believe. Is what was once said by Bruce Dickinson. Boy, I hope it was Bruce at the time, and I haven't added myself as a fake. Huh. Curious, how could we make it across? I mean, we could also just jump. But some of you can't jump. Like so. So maybe you have to... Yeah, I'm going for the hard one, fuck it. Damn you, Gyro. Yeah, okay, no, fuck that. Oh, wait, no, we have to. Okay. I think leg Link's legs were doing something weird. That was hard to say for some dumb reason. You might notice I have healed prematurely. I've used my red potion because I might want an empty bottle to style on a fool. Rather soon. A task to complete very soon. 
May the sun shine on this um, dead man's volleyball. Is that what? Yeah, that's what it's called. I learned that the other day, or relearned that at least. I have not touched Phantom Hourglass for over a decade. Bit of a shame, because it was a pretty good game. Just. Control scheme was a little odd, to say the least. And it. The Ocean King Temple, I remember a lot of people did not like. From my limited knowledge of Persona 3, it sounds like. It sounds like similar complaints to Tartarus. Again, limited knowledge of Souls games. Oh. A solo gold dark knight. Look at this absolute chad. Huh. I just realized I don't have a key. For the treasure, for the treasure room. It appears I fucked something up. That's odd. Oh well, I'm gonna have to take a break before the boss fight so I can figure that out. Yeah, if I take damage, I'm gonna go heal as well, because I want to be on full health. Not that the final boss is... Final boss. I... Nah, it's bosses. More than one. Not that they're particularly hard, but I would like to be on full health. Just because. It's a lot more fun to show off that way. And that way I have, like, more room to show off mechanics and shit. I'm gonna do Ganon the proper way. I'll show the thing once, alright? I'm not gonna cheese him. That's boring as fuck. My one criticism of the old Best Friends LP from over four years ago. The fact that Liam just cheesed Ganondorf. I'm gonna do it legit. Now, I fucked myself pretty hard here, apparently. Metaphorically. Not literally. I don't know how I'd do that. Um, let's have a look through the map real quick. Wait. I'll get get it up on the screen so the audience can help with me. It's that one chest I couldn't get to. Okay, I see it now. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, well. There's gonna be a cut. And then I'll be there, and I'll be in there. So, uh, you know what? I should probably just do it the quick way. Fuck this. Yeah, look at my playtime. I have no shame. This is actually pretty quick for a Zelda. Oh, one minute. But not to midnight. Oh, fuck. I meant to exit. God. Alright, yeah. See you after the cut. So, turns out I was being dumb. Um, I'm, I'm still being dumb. God damn it. Um, if I can fucking show it properly. Um, so, that ch you might notice that chest I was alluding to is gone. Yeah, that area where you fight King Boblin has a staircase, and that's the intended way out. That chest had a 20... or a red rupee in it. So, I am the big dumb, I guess. That's how the children would say it. I, I don't fucking know. So, I am remembering I missed something. I did not look at the guide. Um, I don't know how I forgot about it. But just from looking at the map, I immediately remembered exactly what I missed. And oh, by the way, those Boblins were totally flying. Um, when you walk through that door, they are totally hovering. It's kind of weird. So, hopefully I'm not getting this wrong, but I recall there being a way to dig through somewhere. Somewhere. It's not this. Okay, wait. I remember there being an area you dig through, but I could be wrong. And no, I'm not, if I'm wrong, I'm not saying that to cover myself to pretend I didn't cheat, because I haven't cheated here. Um, but I'm feeling really stupid right now, because I, maybe I have to. It's weird I can't remember. Is it in the King Baldwin arena? Fucking, god damn it. I'm so good at this. Yeah, fuck this, I am cheating. Alright, so, I'm redoing this actually, because I thought I knew where I was going, but I was wrong. So, you'll notice I got the chest I was alluding to on the right. Um, that was, annoyingly enough, so, yeah, it's on that level. That was, annoyingly enough, just a 20 rupee chest. So, there's a staircase where I fought, where we fought, where I fought, fucking, King, uh, King Baldwin. 
uh, was not it. And I remembered coming over here, there was a dig spot of some description. But I'm dumb and I missed it, so I had to consult the guide, and my memory was correct. I've just got to find where it is. It's odd I, I didn't see it initially. I mean, other than the part where, I, yeah, I'm being, oh, there we go, got it. Yeah, because I remembered, um, there was a whole part, like a cemetery type part, and lo and behold, here it is. This is that key we need for the treasure room. So yeah, I, I was being dumb. What's up dudes? Where are you pointing guys? This way? That's the way back. So I need to put something there it seems. Oh that's right, the Stalkin job. You cannot defeat me. You cannot kill me either. For I am Omega, but perhaps. perhaps I am subhuman. Perhaps I must explode. Heavy metal guitar riff. Oh, there we go. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. These are the tales of the skeleton warriors. Yeah, that's what I needed. Hmm. Just checking my back. While I do the thing where I try to find my lantern, god damn it. I do wish um, I had like the little. I guess you'd call it a weapon wheel by today's standards. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm dumb. I didn't even notice they didn't like the other one. Okay, so. There's something I'm clearly, clearly missing here. Now I know there's. Yeah, there's you guys. Because I remember there's more than one cell post. There are several, in fact. I figured there were two. Didn't realize there'd be three more. The cursed horse must sleep before the sacred tree. Got it. Nice. Good form, kids. In the land where the rain stops, the statue of time moves. Gotcha. Cool. Puzzles. Very cool. Oh. So what are you guys? So I've got to get an S somehow, I guess. Do I? Oh, like right here, perhaps. Huh. Yeah, I, I, guys, I know. I just can't fathom what to do because I'm being stupid. What do you do here again? Because I remember that much. I'm not getting a dig prompt. Time to consult old guidebook. The old guidebook. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh. That's, that's what I was inevitably going to try, but, uh, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so he's open, nice. Huh, Lenten stuff. Okay, 100 rupees, not quite what I was looking for, but I'll take it. You guys are also going to be rupees, correct? Because, yeah, there's no way this is the key. Yeah, no, no chance. Hmm. Oh, wait, I've got the land to quit. What am I doing? Okay. Let it. And the rain stops. How about that? So does that mean I can... Oh my gosh, I can like these now? Wonder what a is up to. Or Epo, rather. Epo the horse.
Now I'm gonna make the assumption you guys go down there, but let's have a read just in case. Door opens where spectres gaze. Well, I figured that part out. That wasn't very hard. Roll. Like, I definitely feel like rolling is faster than this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's one of them uh, jumping puzzles. That's not what I meant to do. Man, I completely forgot about this area, even though it was in the back of my mind. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, dude. Uh, this will be faster if I do this. Yep. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. Awesome job, me. What are you? I feel like I can climb you. No? Huh. How weird. I'm like getting... I was getting caught up on the... On the uh, geometry of it, too. Oh, strange. Nice. Yep. Alright. Yeah, this is gate. And that's it. That's the key. Yeah, it's a secret. Okay, I think I can do the treasure room before I quit. For the meantime. Look, see, I'm not insane. You see that shit? They were flying. They dropped in. Good. Yeah, now, now I can cut again. And be in front of the fucking boss room. Eh. Let's have a look inside. And see if, see if all the trouble was actually bloody worth it. Uh... Yeah, actually it is. I'll tell you that much. Oh, a hundred rupees. Hmm. The happy Zelda stamp. Oh no, the happy bunny card. Okay, cool, neat. I was missing a few. I'm missing one. Ooh, 50 rupees, nice. Uh huh. I was missing ten. Hmm. Okay, see, sure, sure. Thank you, game. Ooh, more bombs. What a generous stockpile. Alrighty. There's still a lot of these. Water bombs that I can't take, given my items. Yeah. L literally worthless. Literally worthless in addition. And how about you? Are you a five? A blue rupee? Yes, you are. Amazing. And let's smash these for good measure. Well, is there a fairy around here? I feel like there is. Yep. Hmm. You know what? Heal me up. That's weird. That's probably a change they made in this version, because I remember the fairies were very heal happy in the original. There we go. Because I'm keeping this empty bottle for a reason. We need a style. Hard. We need to fucking style on Ganondorf. Who, unsurprisingly, is the final boss. Wait, Diamond, I missed this fucking jest. What? Really? Oh shit, <laughs> the middle one. What are you, 200 rupees? Yeah, I'm psychic, see? Ooh, I hold these again, no? Nothing? I wonder, this is fruitless and wasting time, but... Ah, neat. Well, too bad I'll never need it. And now, to arbitrarily destroy the skulls, we're going to make one last save. So, I'm missing a whopping 10 stamps. Please forgive me. I think that's fair enough. Alright. 
That's just in case I ever come back to this file. Spoiler, I'm probably not going to. Unless I decide to, um, you know, try to get the sinking lure. Or attempt to, um, uh, do that dungeon as Wolf Link, but I don't know. We'll see. And we're at the top of Lofric Castle. Where those three gold winged halberd knights are going to show up. And the, the twin axe one. Yeah. He's pretty cool. But very fun way. This shit is fucked. Need to link the fire, apparently. Alright. Oh, I was going to practice my, uh... I was going to practice my bottle katas. My bottle jutsu, but no time, I guess. I'm, I'm going to get a drink while this uh, goes on. I guess Padme was right about democracy. Oh no. Something's amiss, is it? There he is. Mr. Neutral B himself. Mr. Warlock Punch. Bringer of hyper armor. Destroyer of pirate ships. No Helmer Rock King this time, though. Seriously, though, flame choking in front of that boat is pretty fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah, there's that mid in the face. That's intimidating, alright. Hmm. Pathetic. Oh. So the injustice brought you to them. Okay. I lacked true power. Hmm. Those chosen by the gods. Huh. I do kind of like how the Triforce isn't, like, an overt huge deal in this game, though. Like, it's... <laughs> it's obviously still present. I don't know if you can tell. But, um... I like that it's way more focused on Minda and all that. Um, that was such conceit, by the way. Sorry, I skipped that. Ooh. But are you badass enough to trust <laughs> to trutch? Are you badass enough to touch the Triforce? Ride as Ganon's about to make his wish? Cause I know a certain king goes bad and Oh. Oh yeah, that's the face. <laughs> I know a certain king was badass enough to do that. And boy Ganon was not happy. Deny me. Try to do my. If, if, I'm not bothering, fuck this. I couldn't do it justice anyway. No, Minna, don't get in the way! I don't know why, just. Seems, seems like a shit idea. Oh. Hmm. Nani? By Midna. Alrighty. Are you fucking ready? Cause I'm fucking ready. Let's do this. I've got my bottle. What have you got? That's pretty cool. That little animation. Alrighty. Zelda's got the blue flame. Let's go. Hope my timing is down pat. Don't know why I broke my lock. What the hell is going on? 
That was weird. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got we got it this time. Nice combo. Yeah, arrows are useless, by the way, just to demonstrate. Come on. Only two shots in a rally. Oh, you want to get the fuck out of that. A very subdued first phase, though, isn't it? Went, we went for a few more that time. Come on. What you got? What you got? Look at my bottle tech. You can't defeat this. Come on. Let's get it. If I get damaged, I'm going to be pissed. Well. I totally forgot about that move, actually. Yep. Triforce. Bottle tech. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You going to do a dive? Or are we just going to cast? Nice. Good job, good job. I see you have that Smash Bros slash Ruby skirt tech as well. A combat, uh, a combat skirt. It is not, however. All right, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Ah, such a melodious sound. Beautiful, really. Okay, now there's two ways to do this Ganon fight. Both are pretty fucking cool. It depends. Do I want to be a sniper? Or do I want to go beast versus beast? Oh. Ganon does not like this. Sell down, Ganon. It's called the Bowser effect, I guess. Or not. Ah, there we go. Much better. Back to Best Girl Zelda. But where? Where has he gone? Oh, here we go. Are you ready? For a big ass pig? Man, you're lucky I didn't have pork tonight. That's a cool effect, though. <laughs> That's a nice transformation. It's not quite a Resident Evil like model swap, but uh, I'll take it. All right, so yeah, you can either snipe his head, or you can turn into Wolf Link and stop his charge. One or the other. And now we have the Homer chanting. I like this music, but I think the chanting's uh, become a little much. Can we do it? Oh, fuck. I screwed up the timing, I guess. That was weird. Oh. Okay, are you ready? Where are the portals? One, two, three. There we go. Get ready. And throw. See? We brought that tech back from the start of the game. I think this is the cool way to do it personally, but I'll try to show off both ways. Yeah, I get it. Get a job. Yeah, I know. It'd be cool if he had like a slam attack where he fell from the sky, but this will be it. All right, here we go. Which one do you think is cooler? Tell me, chat. <laughs> I don't know why that that amuses me so much. I I personally like this better. It feels thematically appropriate to me. Holy crap! I totally just missed something. Oh, that actually scared me quite good. That got me. That got me. I think that got me harder than a lot of jump scares in Resident Evil. 
That's saying something. All right, Pigman. Pigman Dinga. All right. And be bottle can go away in a sec. I guess he does have a slam attack, and I just fucking missed it. All right, you ready? Oh! <gasps> That's what happened. He trolled me. Hard. I totally forgot about that attack. That's cool. Sense does not help. Does not show you where the real portal is going to appear. However, you can guess pretty easily. Wait, what the hell? Ganon, you missed, dude. You drunk? Wait, what are you up to, Zelda? You good? You good, girl? That's good. Sitting up there like Annalise, are we? And... There we go. Welcome to the slam. And jam. Thank you, ma'am. Yo, DJ, turn it up. This is 10% luck, 20% skill. 15% concentrated power of will. I'm getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Okay, yeah, this is the one where he's... He's mad. He's mad. He's not taking it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Ganon, stop trolling me. Fuck. <laughs> oh. And we're gonna toss him to the right. It's time for a change of pace. Speaking of which, let's mortal draw this fuck. That seems appropriate. So just a reminder, he's got that big scar there because he got fucking shanked by the cool ass sword he uses. You know, the one he gets out for a taunt in Smash Bros. And that's it. Uh, he's, yeah, his current sword's like the one he used, used way back in that old Space World demo. That was cool. That was very cool. I, I haven't got much else to say other than um, Minna's lighting up. Is this a Bishojo pal? Is that how, how you pronounce it? Magical girl? Is she going Sailor Moon? I don't have a stake in which, which is the best girl in that regard because I don't even remember much about Sailor Moon. I remember watching it a decent amount back when I was a kid but never frequently enough. Card captors, though. Um, I don't think would stand the test of time, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be very wrong. Meanwhile, importance of shit is going on. Oh! Ganondorf's back with his huge flaming afro that attacks the frame rate. Good shit. Oh, is it really that shocking, guys? Come on. Oh, do the transformation, Midna. Hey, so guess what? Midna's about to fucking wreck a fool. Do it, girl. Get him! Who will win? I think you can guess. Given, given that this boss fight is clearly over. I mean, why would Link get the finishing blow, am I right? And now we are back in the field. Cool. We did it, Sonic. We saved the city. Um. Uh, collateral debt. Oh. 
Oh no, he lived. He's got that white outline on him too. That's that cool horse from Ocarina. Well, Midden is gone. Bye. And here come the riders. That's a pretty cool shot. Are you ready? Time to time for Zelda to actually do something. There's that face. It's a pretty cool shot. Some of Ganondorf's faces are, are you know, a tad goofy though. Um, just saying. Just saying. Remember all these heroes that we saved? Remember them? All the light spirits that helped us along the way? That's not sarcasm they did. I mean, it's meant to be sarcastic, but same time not. Hope you like that mechanic from Wind Waker, because here's round two. Are you going to ask me to help? <laughs> it feels like that's such a fucking dumb smile, I love it. Sure, girl. Alrighty. Let's go shank us some pig. Pigman. Um, human. I, I don't know. Whatever Ganondorf identifies that, we don't judge. Then we smack him with the sword. You ready? You recognize where we are? Back in Elden. Elden Province. So quite often he'll dodge, but we actually got him pretty well then. Um, I am missing. Like a fucking scrub. Go opponent, go! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was awful. I don't know how I fucked that up so hard. This is meant to be the easy part. Yeah, that's what it's meant to look like. He, I'm pretty sure he'll... Oh, okay. I was gonna say he dodges it like pretty immediately from memory, but obviously not. Yeah, he, he makes some hard turns though. Okay, let's let some of this regen. I lied. Ow. And he kindly waits for us. How nice of him. Oh. Ow. I don't know what I expected. I really don't know what I expected. Horse duel, let's go. Almost dogfighting. Ow, fuck you. Damn it, can't do the jump from the back. How inconvenient of you, Zelda. How inconsiderate. Man, I'm fucking this up, I'm sorry. This has made it look a lot cooler. I used to be able to do this flawlessly. Fuck! <laughs> nope, yep, yep, we can't do it. Cause Zelda's there, damn it. Man, this looks so much cooler when you're not screwing it up. He really moves this part though. Yep, okay, it's either this hit or one more. Okay, yeah, one more. Yeah, cause I think now's the time he'll start doing the- Oh, no, okay, he's just gonna let himself get hit. Speed up, slow down, speed up. This is a sequel to that Top Gun game that AVGN, you know, did that classic review of many a year ago. Speaking of the fucking classic, are you ready? Now, I think I prefer the Wind Waker fight, but this one's pretty fucking good too. Yeah, that, yeah, that face. He's got some goofy ones. 
He, 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 you know, it's like Palpatine. He loves being evil. He, he loves his job. I can't fault him for that. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the trick once. I don't want to totally ruin this fight. I want to show off all the cool shit. There's that fucking music. Are we going for the clash immediately? Mash. I think it's a very hard mash, but maybe I'm wrong. Because, uh... Oh shit, I'm waiting. Okay, hold up. I think you can hear that. There we go. Yeah, no, I've got, I've got to give it a solid mash. Let's heal a little, just cause. Is he coming back for another one? Hold on, don't attack me for one sec, dude. So yeah, here's the gimmick. Totally distracts him. Just, yeah. People have said it's a bug, but nah, surely not. There's no way. That's always a cool one. Backslash totally works. I don't know if you can open them up for a Helm Splitter, actually. Yeah, that one doesn't work. Jump attack's not really any good here. That's always a cool one. Come on. Alright, gotta mash hard. Gotta actually fucking concentrate it. There we go. I remember having quite a bit of trouble with that as a kid. Was a teenager because, like, young teen. I was 13, cut me some slack. My mash was not at its current powers. But it's a lot harder than you'd expect, actually. Like, I was genuinely surprised how tough that was. Oh, here we go, another chance. I'd like to show what happens when I lose, but I really don't want to have to do that again. Oh, is this it? Alright. Wow. Huh. I was expecting that to be longer. Yeah, that's the face. Now there is one thing I remember, one glitch I got to work a couple of times with a friend back in the day, where I don't know if it's because of like, I can't remember if it was like during the chance or because of one of his jump attacks, you used to be able, able to get outside the barrier and have a fight in the proper field and it was pretty fucking awesome. I don't think he was stuck in the wall, I can't remember, maybe he was. Anyway. Um, yeah, there will be blood shed, the men in, in the mirror nods his head, the only one left, will ride up on the Ganon's back. And Zant for the assist. And dies standing up like a fucking OG. Now that's hashtag my Ganon. Yeah, he's not standing properly, by the way, in case you can't tell. That is some fucking ruby tear animation right there. Well, not animation, What do you, whatever the fuck you call it. Just placement in the scene is pretty shit, to be quite honest. It's like that time. Wait, that one time? What am I saying? That time Ruby and Weiss run on fucking nothing. I'm referring to a very distinct thing right, right at the very start. When they burn the forest down. But I'm pretty sure it happens a few times. Anyway. Midna's back. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? All these memorable characters. Congratulations, Midna. I will not be using Ava music, that's bound to get fucking copyright claimed.
got to get the imp. Now, some people will call me a heathen. But personally, I, I got to be honest, I do like this design better. I'm sorry. I'm a coward, I guess. But it's a pretty good design. I know some people preferred some of the alternates that were in Hyrule Historia, like some of the concept art they'd never used, but I reckon this is a pretty good design, personally. Pretty solid. But I get it. Yeah, say something, Link. Fucking nerd. Oh. Now give the dumb smile. Do it. Yeah, he's into it. Go get him, champ. You did an Anuma. You made a good one. And quite a few other good ones. Now, I'm expecting to, this to be like the Bloodborne credits and the Resident Evil 3 credits where I go, now I don't have much to talk about and proceed to ramble. So, um, I'm not, no, I'm not even going to fucking say it. That's what's going to happen here. It would be cool if, like, we got to go into that Death Mountain proper, but I, I think it's implied we do, but I don't know. Anyway, all these memorable locations. Memorable. Fuck. No, but like, I, I don't know, but like, I know some people have come back to this, and well, this is from four years ago, keep in mind, and they're not as, they don't think of the game as fondly as they did, and yeah, probably some nostalgia, you know, um, being taken away, but I still think this is a, one of, this is one of my favourite Zeldas. Like, I, I wouldn't bother trying to rank them, there's too many, who fucking cares? They're all good games. Spirit Tracks is the only dicey one, apparently. I have to play that to say, but... It's got one of the best elders I've heard, and I'm pretty sure I said that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Anyway, look. Colin's a badass now. He's got a sword and shield. They're all united... Yeah, reunited is what I meant to say. Oh, ooh, here comes the wrestling. Come on, Incineroar, let's go. This is a nice little credit se um, sequence, though. Ah, uh, look at all the cowards who have returned. And that scumbag doctor. And the true hero we deserve. Louise. Or tell Miss Chest if you if you're that person, I guess. Since the guy said it. I mean Link looked first, so you know. I'm only I'm only just pointing it out. All doing the mellow dance. Look at him go. All these memorable characters. I don't know if I'd want a direct sequel or a direct follow-up to um, Twilight Princess, but I wouldn't say no. I think it'd be cool if like a lot of this was revisited, and I remember the other, other day I was kind of thinking to myself, oh, yep, there we go. There's the Queen and the Prince. It's like my mom was watching over me, but then she disappeared. What a bitch. Um, I was thinking the other day, like, it would have been cool given the Twilight Realm if they had have done like a World of Light, World of Dark, but, oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 they've got the Kukos. Oh, I was so confused for a second. Oh, I didn't remember that at all. Yeah, I was thinking, like, it would have been cool to have a lighter world, what, um, a World of Light, World of Dark. And then I was like, what are you talking about, you idiot? They did that. And I guess, like, 
when I was thinking about that, it was kind of like, it would have been redundant to have, like, the two worlds you swap between, given, well, you know, it's already been done in the game, and it was redone, um, how many years after? I want to get this right. In 2013, um, this should not be hard to do. Yeah, seven years ago, yeah. In a link between worlds. But yeah. Oh, yeah, that fishing hole, I've got to go back. Ugh. Maybe it'll be on camera, but I make no promises. Aww. Oh, you get it? It's implied they love each other. You thought I'd say something else. Ah, oh, yeah, but they're probably doing it. You know, caring for each other, that is. Being a, you know, wholesome and fun. Ah, oh, yes, look at this massive quest these... These heroes have undertaken. I mean, it would have been nice if they had shown up more, but... Uh, I don't know. Knowing how some... Oh, I'm not going to say Zelda games, but some... First-party Nintendo game have gone with, like, partner characters... And supporting cast, it could have got a little annoying. But, you know, being in a little more would have been nice. I think the fact that the kids in Ilya stepped out for quite a while was totally fine, though. It would have... Yeah, it probably would have got way too annoying if they were in it too much. Oh, look at that! During these traumatic events, you had another baby. Just kind of plopped out. Ignore the fact that this, that, that would have been life-threatening back in this time period. Anyway, besides the point, remember all these guys? Mayor Bozio of the only one we actually talked to other, uh, yeah, the, the, Mayor Bo's the only one we ever talked to again, bar Russell. I think Mayor Bo was running on air. Or something weird. Ah, yes, the Gerudo Desert. With the chest I got. I remember, like, I've mentioned that old trailer for this game, where Miyamoto shows up. Um, at that, was it 2000, 2004 or 2005 E3? But, like, that trailer where they had, like, that clip where they had all the bulb ones coming over the horizon was pretty fucking awesome. But, you know, I get why that wasn't in it. Probably didn't need it. Still, would have been fucking sick. Anyway. Time to conclude all this. Yeah, seems like it's goodbye. Yeah. Time for the same. Yep, there's that analogy. The same one that has to be made in every story involving two fucking parallel worlds. Generally, of light and dark. Yeah, this is what Metroid Prime 2 did, right? They had the world of light and dark. I remember that being a mechanic, or... I, don't, I, I never played it, but I remember hearing and reading about it a ton. I, I don't think it was two separate worlds. I think it was, like, different halves of the planet, was it? I remember what the ing looked like, and I remember their names, though. But anyway, I should ignore that. Minden's talking, and she's about to walk off. We'll never forget each other. And all that shit. Hmm. Hmm. As long as it's around. Oh. As long as it's around. Is this joke funny? Nah. I mean, it's pretty obvious what was going to happen, even if you don't know this. That's the power of Tears of Twilight, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Better love story than Twilight. You get it, it's a pun. Huh. <sighs> nah, I'm not sorry. I, I'm going to be real. I'm not. That realization where Twilight's a better love story than Indigo Prophecy. Something is actually a worse love story than Twilight. And there she goes. 
Here lies Link. He never scored. In a cemetery right next to Nemesis. For anyone who needs reminding, Nemesis never scored. Just saying. He couldn't take the hint. Link got the hint, but the problem was Midna was like, you know, perhaps if things were different, we could have loved each other. You know, at the end of Omicron. That classic tale. That doesn't even have a love story, but is somehow worse. Been Indigo Prophecy. Yeah, I rescind that. Okay, there's two things worse than Twilight. Cool. Thanks, David Cage. Anyway, um, LP's almost over. Um, I don't think there's enough time for me to shit on Cage again, but you never know. Something might crop up. Man, this, this fucking area drove me insane trying to figure out those chests. All the fairies are there, though. So that's cool. I'll never need them again. Um... I'm not going through Cave of Ordeals again. Not until I decide to replay this game on my own time. You guys did well. Everyone here, you made a good fucking game. Bill, there's Bill. Got possessed by a yokai that one time. What a fucking champ Bill Trinan is. What a champ those birds are. Oh, it didn't want yellow. <laughs> Get it? Let me smash. No, please. Oh, yeah, it's an old, it's an old joke. I got to admit, it's one of the few memes I actually still find funny. Um. Okay. Yep. No, it's happening. Running out of things to say. Prepare for me to think of something and not shut up. Um. Yeah. Good game. Zelda's cool. Um, I should finish Breath of the Wild one day. That'd be nice. Whether or not I do it for the channel, I would definitely... I'm definitely gonna go back to Skyward Sword at some point. At some point in my life. <laughs> Being nice and vague. Non-committal. Hey, statue dudes, your puzzles suck. Nah, it was good. I was just being fucking dumb. Even with the guard, I fucked it up. And the sword is back. Okay, now which timeline does this help create? If the sword goes back, um, okay, well you see, if, if Link puts the sword in wrong and then puts it in properly the second time, right? That's also a different parallel dimension, right? Um, but if Link trips on the way out, that's a third game on top of that, but if he doesn't, that's a fourth game. Um, <laughs> in case I haven't hammered home the point of I really don't care about the timeline. I'm happy for people that do, but I, you know, I'm one of those weird people that are like, you know, the timeline didn't enhance my enjoyment of any of these games. I'd be fine if I was standalone. Obviously, if there's continuity, though. I mean, Skyward Sword happened. Oh, but spoilers, by the way, Skyward Sword. Um, not only is it, a good, is it a good game, that final boss, just saying just putting it out there might be pretty awesome and pretty significant well you did it Miyamoto you didn't kill the story this time well Paper Mario is out in about a month that's not a well it, by the time this comes up it's probably already out oh shit I should have said something about Iwata uh, rest in peace man taken too soon the same year as Lemmy, right? Yeah, I think... Yeah, it was 2015, right? Because that fucking sucked. Let me double check. I should be paying attention to these credits, but I gotta... No, not a water airbrush. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Why am I... Damn it. Damn it. I should be delivering, delivering, <laughs> riveting commentary, but no. Yeah, Iwata was July 21st, was it? A, a July 11, 
2015. And let me check. Lemmy is God. Yeah, no, that's not the one I want, unfortunately. 28th of December, 2015. Yeah. There were other people that year, but... That sucked. And then Bowie. Like, right... Like, you know. Pretty soon after Lemmy. That fucking sucked. Anyway. Um... Yep, no, it's happened. I've run out of shit to say. I don't know how long these credits go for, because... I've never actually reached them. You did it, Mario Club. Um, I'd say join Club Nintendo, but, uh... Club Nintendo don't exist no more. I tried to use every fucking points card I could, like, a fortnight before. But, uh, that got cancelled. Didn't buy the old F-Zero in time, but whatever. Uh-oh. Hopefully they don't get too copyright happy again. I remember the old days. Oh well. That's Twilight Princess. Um. I don't know what comes next. Um, at this point I'm still slogging away the Astral Chain videos, and no doubt I still will be by the time this comes out. I imagine I might stop up, start uploading this in like July. So this'll, I don't know, like, I might just do one a day and like have it just over a fortnight of this getting, you know, being done, but who cares. You guys don't need to hear this. All two of you. Four. I don't know. Who knows. Maybe a hundred in the future. I don't fucking care. Thanks for sticking around for subpar LPs and pretty alright music edits, apparently. Bark with me if you are my dogs. Yeah, Demon Souls or Dark Souls after this, I'm fucking sure. One or the other. Okay, that's it. I've ruined the ending. See you later.